Role-playing servers in video games. I remember it as early as, well, actually Halo 3. I remember there was this thing called Cops and Robbers where it was like this custom game. And it was kind of weird. You were supposed to like act out your role depending on who you were. So you were assigned like either a cop or a robber and the robbers would be in jail. Everything was like acted out through the mic and you'd like try to break out of jail, but there were like rules you agreed upon or like ground rules or like an honor system type of thing. I didn't really get the concept. It was uh, very odd, but fast forward like 50 15 years and role-playing servers are actually bigger now than they ever have been. And while I still don't necessarily understand the hype behind them, you cannot deny how big they are. It is what makes games like VR Chat so popular, where the whole premise is basically, hey, you're just uh, in a server or in like a virtual room with just a bunch of random people. And it's like you're a kid in recess again, you're just acting out stuff. Maybe not my cup of tea, but it is definitely extremely popular in very many games. So not just VR Chat, it is is very popular in games like GTA 5, as well as other games. Well, believe it or not, Rockstar recently announced their official collaboration with the modding team responsible for the highly popular 5M and Red M Grand Theft Auto 5 role-playing servers. So the team behind these renowned Rockstar role-playing and creator communities, like I said, 5M and Red M, I guess the team is called CFX.RE, maybe not the most catchy name, but I'm sure there's like a reason behind it. Probably stands for something. So that team is now formally integrated into Rockstar Games. 5M continues to be the primary hub for numerous major GTA role-playing servers, retaining a robust player base even, well, 10 years after GTA's release and 8 years after GTA's PC release. I am talking about GTA 5, of course. And Rockstar's statement reflects their excitement over the past year's expansion of of creative possibilities in Grand Theft Auto 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, particularly through dedicated role-playing servers. The company's policy on mods has been extended to include those crafted by the role-playing creative community, and this partnership with the CFX.RE team aims to further support this vibrant community and enhance the services provided to both developers and players, and I think this is a very smart move, a very forward-thinking move as we see games like Roblox and even Fortnite grow and expand with their creative tools to the point where you can like make games within those games. I think looking long term, looking uh, down the road, we will definitely see this come out of GTA 6 and GTA Online 2 or whatever it's going to be called. And this news has pleasantly surprised Rockstar enthusiasts, myself included, even though I am not a huge role playing guy, especially given the company's historically contentious stance toward modders. So actually in 2015, Rockstar banned the 5M mod team. They denounced the uh, project at the time as an unauthorized alternate multiplayer service that contains code designed to facilitate piracy. That is what they said back eight years ago, and things have uh, definitely changed. The founder of the mod even alleged that Take-Two, Rockstar's parent company, had sent private investigators to their home to pressure them into shutting down the project. But I guess time heals all wounds, and now they have recruited this modding community to be a part of their team. And like I said, uh, this kind of is assumed that this is going to play a big role in GTA 6 and the next installment of GTA Online. Yeah, the timing of this announcement kind of aligns with uh, the upcoming unveiling of GTA 6. And it basically suggests that Rockstar might incorporate its own online role-playing elements into the game. And amid the uh, overwhelmingly positive response, CFX.RE views, well, this whole movement, this whole uh, buyout, as a significant significant stride in community growth and an opportunity to collaborate with Rockstar Games to enhance the 5M platform as well as its surrounding creative community. And they say that while day-to-day -day operations will not change significantly, Rockstar's backing will contribute to ongoing platform improvements. I like stories like these, you know, because I see a lot of, well, getting beyond the whole role-playing thing, I mean, not just with the whole role-playing server thing, I see a lot of creativity in community-made projects within video games. And I absolutely love stories that involve that game's developer basically recruiting these creative individuals that work on these projects for basically no money. Like, for example, you ever see those, uh, like, Super Mario 64 uh, remake in, like, remaking it in, like, the Unity engine? I've always said, like, people that do that just on their own time, just for the fun of it, people like that should actually be recruited by, well, like, in that case, they should be recruited by Nintendo. And then you see, like, Halo, for example. Halo has a 
amazing forge creators that make like insane maps and like map remakes and not to get off topic but like yeah i've just always felt that people like that deserve well an, an official spot in uh the teams of uh, the games that they make these projects in so while i may not be very big into the role-playing community of gta 5 or really any other game i think this is absolutely a step in the right direction kind of like how the old saying goes if you can't beat them join them back in 2015 they did not like these modders these people that were responsible for this creative role-playing server but now eight years later they have recruited them just add it to the list of the many reasons why i am very excited for probably the upcoming announcement of gta 6